In lesson 1.6, we're going to be talking about circles. <clears throat> a circle is the set of points in a plane, which means on like a flat sheet of paper, that are equidistant from a given point. Really what that's saying is that if I look at a center, in this case C, what I notice is from C to this edge, which we call the circle, the distance is all the same. Or in other words, we know that it has a radius that's a certain length, and no matter where I draw that, it's always going to be the same distance. So that purple thing, which is called the radius, goes from the center of the circle, which in this case was C, to anywhere on the circle uh, that they call the edge, which we oftentimes have just called the circle. Also, in this figure, we have something called a diameter. And the diameter is something that goes through the center. It's a segment. It goes through the center of the circle and connects two points on the edge of the circle. So, for example, here, our diameter would be called AB, whereas our radius would be called CD. So a circle is a set of points in a plane, equidistant, which is called the radius, from a given point called the center, and the circle's named by the center. So this circle would be called circle C. The segment that goes from the center to the edge is called the radius, and the segment that goes through the center with its endpoints on the circle is called the diameter. So this circle C has a diameter of AB and a radius of CD. One of the things that's kind of important to note is you can talk about two circles being congruent, and that's only when they have the same exact radius. So if we talk about congruency in a circle, they have the same radius. If you have two or more circles drawn with the same center but different radii, uh, they're concentric. So if I wanted to look at, for example, concentric circles, it would look something like the following. Now remember, this is freehand, so please forgive my drawing, but concentric circles would look like this. Here's one circle, and here's the other circle, and they have the same center, but I notice that one has the little light blue radius, and one has um, the longer pink radius. So different radius lengths, but the same center that's called concentric. An arc of a circle is a continuous part of the circle between two points, and it's named with these two points. So for example, if I were drawing another circle here um, off to the side, and I see this, whoopsie. If I see this circle up on the top right up here, and I pick two points, then what they're talking about is this thing right here is called an arc. And it would be named with two points, like for example, maybe if I called it x and y, that would be called arc x, y. A semicircle is named with three points, and it's an arc that lies between the endpoints of the diameter. And a minor arc is one in which the small is smaller than a semicircle. A major arc is one that's greater than a semicircle and named with three points. So I kind of gave an example down below here. I'll show you what they are and how they're named. <clears throat> You'll notice down below that they have these arc symbols. And I'll highlight them so you can see as I go along what they are. So for example, first of all, if I talk about the minor arc, and minor arc is down here, and it's called AD. They're talking about this arc on the circle, arc AD. Notice how it's with two letters. Really the way, uh, it's kind of hard to see because I had to do this all on my computer, but really it looks like AD, and there's a curve over it that looks like an arc. Mine looks a little bit straight, but it's supposed to be a curve. If I talk about a semicircle, a uh, semicircle ADC, Remember, semicircle means going halfway around the circle. So that would be this arc right here that's going halfway around the circle. This is arc ADC, which is the, a better name is the semicircle ADC. Notice that they have to use three letters. So for semicircles, you have to use three letters. And just like when we're naming polygons, you have to go in order. So you have to have three. Again, my um, curve looks a little bit straight, so I would call this semicircle ADC with a curve over the top 
Um, you could have named it semicircle CDA if you want to. Those would be the only two ways that you could name that semicircle. So the semicircle, remember, it has 180 degrees. The minor arc is something that's um, in between, um, so it's less than um, 180 degrees, but it's more than 90 degrees. And then you have a major arc, and the major arc is one that is more than hundred and eighty degrees. So a major arc in this case is ACD. That's this arc right here. A to C all the way over to D. Notice that this one, the one that we just got done talking about, this arc ACD is more than 180 degrees. So three kinds of arcs in a semicircle, or sorry, in a circle, pardon me. A minor arc, which is in between 90 Oh, sorry. I said 90, and that's not what I meant. What I meant is it's more than 0 degrees and less than 180. A semicircle in the purple, which is exactly 180 degrees, and a major arc, which is more than 180 degrees. <clears throat> also in circles, there are certain um, straight things that could occur. Uh, the first straight thing that could occur in a circle is something called a chord. It's something uh, called a line segment whose endpoints are on the circle. In this case, our chord in here is chord AD. Notice how it has a segment bar above it when you label it. We could also talk about a diameter. A diameter is a special kind of chord. It's one that goes through the center, so it's also a segment, but it goes through the center of the circle. It's named by the endpoints, the A and the C, so you could name it diameter AC or CA, either way. And a tangent is usually a line, uh, but it could be a segment, could be a ray that intersects the circle in exactly one point. So the tangent we see off to the side here, is intersecting the circle in exactly one spot. It's intersecting right at the E. And remember that lines must be named with exactly two points. So three different kinds of straight things that are inside the circle that are of significance. A chord, a diameter, which is a special chord, and a tangent. Remember that tangents are on the outside and they intersect in exactly one spot. So let's just add to the tangent. These are outside of the circle. 